Thank you, David. And good morning, everyone. So the final project that Energy Consumers Australia has been working on with a group of people from across the sector over the last year doesn't go to a particular um, issue or problem. It's, as David said, it's about how we work together more effectively as a sector. So it comes from a different place from the other three. Although we did talk about the need for us all to work together better at the last forum, and it's certainly been a key focus of the last day and a half so far, um, Energy Consumers Australia would have looked at how we make collaboration our go-to, effective collaboration, our go-to approach in the Australian energy sector anyway, because it's part of the reason we were established. As you can see from the, um, the extract there from the, or the objective in our constitution. So there was a group of about a dozen of us from across the sector got together and we, in asking ourselves about how we make collaboration more effective across the sector, we asked ourselves three questions. Why collaborate? What are the benefits to be got from collaboration? Second, how does effective collaboration come about? Like, there's got to be something to it. How does it come about? What has to be in place? And what do we have to do for effective collaboration to, to happen? Finally, we asked ourselves, well, what is it that we need in the energy sector so that collaboration does become our default problem-solving approach? We found three main benefits of collaboration. The first is that there's an incredible amount on and we can't all be involved in everything. The third is that the issues that we're talking about, as we've spoken about over the last couple of days already, the issues are very complex. So the problems we have to solve are very big. They go to the heart of the future of the Australian economy. They go to the heart of the future of Australia's people, the capacity of Australia's people to be able to live their lives well into the future, now and into the future. And that sort of question only gets resolved when a broad ranging group of people with needs come together to work on it. The third is, and it's very closely related to the second, is that the Australian energy sector is an ecosystem, really. We are all separate beings and separate entities, but we are completely interdependent. And just like any natural ecosystem, the capacity of the whole to survive change, which we're definitely going through, is reliant on each individual element being able to thrive in change and vice versa. So then, how does effective collaboration come about? We identified four key points, most of which are not new. So we, first of all, collaboration relies on everyone involved taking the time to clarify the actual issue or problem that the group is facing, as opposed to just jumping in with solutions. So it's a bit like the trying to avoid the eight blind men looking at the elephant so that the, you know, one man says, oh, an elephant is, a, you know, a small, thin thing because he's touching the tail. And another man says, oh, look, a woman probably, I should probably update that. But anyway, um, the, is, Joe says, oh, an elephant is like a large tree because that person is touching one of the legs of the elephant. It's an elephant. Let's, you know, we all need to understand what it is. Second, we identified that, oh, I should say that that was, as Chris Alexander spoke about yesterday, that was the key process that that choice project has gone through. It has taken them a year to get to the point of really understanding what it is they were all talking about and therefore working about where they could go. It takes time. The second thing is that we all need to accept and understand and respect that we all bring to any working together our organisation self-interest, our personal self-interest. Some of us have statutory obligations to shareholders. Some of us have a remit to represent the environment. Some of us are there to support the agricultural sector. We have to acknowledge and respect those vested interests, but not assume that someone who has a different set of vested interests from yours has nothing to offer the people you represent or the, the causes that you are required to 
take action in, on behalf of. And this was the, a key part of the process of the Power Transformed project. Third, we need to acknowledge that we're not too bad at this. There is a lot of effective collaboration going on in the energy sector already. Two, the two obvious ones over the last two years, at a very, uh, the last year at a very broad scale, a power transformed and the network transformation roadmap. But we do this all the way through, uh, all the way through the sector, all the layers. So, for example, the um, uh, Northern Alliance for Greenhouse Action, working with the Victorian distribution businesses and local government on better joint planning, so that everybody saves money, everybody's more efficient, and the consumer wins. Finally, as the diagram on the right shows, we identified that effective collaboration needs thought from the very outset about how the people who are not in the room are going to be included. So despite the broad ranging nature of pretty much all the issues that we've, we're looking at, not everyone has to be involved in everything, and as I said, not everybody can be involved in everything. But effective collaboration requires that all affected stakeholders have a say in and understand and are taken along the journey of solving the problem or coming up with a you know, suggested approach. So the third thing we asked about was what's needed. What do we need to make collaboration, the energy sector, the Australian energy sectors, standard approach to problem solving, and we identified two key things. First of all, we need a set of principles. A set of principles we can sign up to or aspire to, whatever they might look like, that go to, so that we have a shared understanding of what it is that we mean by collaboration. And here, again, I refer to what Chris was talking about yesterday, about one of the um, uh, aspects of the C word, seeing as choice is not a good word, but one of the aspects of choice that their, that project could continue with is what do we mean? What are the definitions? Let's all start using the same kind of language. But also, a principles on the, the, the nature of the behaviour we will adopt with each other when we are working together collaboratively. And that could go to things like, we will accept respect and acknowledge that we all have different self-interests but that then we're not going to allow them to get in, in our way. Second thing we identified is that we need some infrastructure, because this is a utility sector after all, and as uh, Luke said, my background is largely water, so infrastructure is always important. We need to be able to find out what other organisations are proposing to work on and who might... Um, be interested and capable of what, who has the resources to put into this issue at this time. And we also need to make sure that people can participate no matter where they are at whatever level. And that might be as simple as just all of us undertaking to use the miracle of modern technology and not everybody having to be in the same room at the same time and flying in from Adelaide and Canberra and Hobart and Burnie and Cairns, which is a waste of time. We also, in our group, started pulling together some of that infrastructure. So we do have a long list of existing and potential collaborative projects that we will be spreading far and wide and we'd like assistance with. And we've also identified a collaborative approach to helping people who might be finding it difficult to pay their energy bill. And we'll also be progressing that piece of work. So finally, I'd just like to thank everyone who's worked on this project. Craig Memory and I have thoroughly enjoyed the process, and we're looking forward to working further with these people, and we welcome anyone else who would like to be involved, or at least in any, whether you're actually in the middle circle, the, the second circle, or the outer circle. Thank you very much. <laughs>